Right then, video two at Exxon Cemetery. I haven't brought my long trousers. <laughs> I've got them, I've left them in the hotel. Um, but um, I thought I'd start with this hairy bit and do this after. This looks the older part, which is what we're interested in. Because um, Elon Musk's, one of his great grandfathers called Henry Musk, Zara and I found his grave. We never knew about Elon Musk then. Nobody did. 20 odd years ago. And so... We didn't... We just thought it was... The reason we took note of it was mainly because um, it, it was such an unusual name. It was such an unusual name that we made a note of it. So what I'll do, I'm going to do this first in case people come and this is the part we really do need to video. I don't care if people say you shouldn't walk in the grass, I'm going to. I'm a family tree researcher, I did it the other day when I was in, um, yeah here we are look, John Musk, straight away I found one, look Zara and look Elon. This is probably one of your relatives late, later on. Um, in loving memory of our dear father, John Musk, who fell asleep September the 22nd, 1912, age 67. Rest in the Lord. So he would have been born... God, he would, he would have been born in the 1840s. He could have been... He could even have been the John Musk... I'm not sure yet without checking in the family tree that married my great great aunt. He could this could be Elon's great great uncle. But I'm not sure until I check because the John Musk did marry I think it was Melina Brooks. But she's not written down on there. But there is a footstone as well. If we look down there. There's a footstone as well. 1912. That's his footstone. That's his footstone down there. Look, it's just about make out 1912. Now, if I get a chance, I'll get some flowers later and I'll come and place. I don't know if we spotted this one. I thought it was a Henry Musk, I noted. So, this is very exciting, everyone. I'm just going to stand back here. This has probably been spotted by Musk people. Uh, and fans of Elon would have found this one. I think so. I'll just take a picture from a distance as well. And another angle over here. So I can get in the rest of the graveyard. So he's got quite an upright stone with a footstone. With a nice sort of pattern thing. I don't know what you call it. Um, and if there's he's in here, there'll be more. But they won't all be visible, don't, don't forget. I'll take a picture of the back as well. So that's John Musk. He was born in the 1840s, round about the same time as Elon's, one of his great-great-grandfathers. So it's very, very likely. Now we've got an Elston. We've got Elstons in our family. And there's Elstons married and buried at Borough Green as well. George Elston, who died March the 14th, 1907, aged 83. Francis, his wife, who died September 19th, 1909, aged 67. And with the morning, and with the morn, morning something rose angel something smile which we have loved something while that's got a footstone and that's a George Elston and I come across the Elstons all the time by the way fortunately it's quite dry the weather 
so uh, I'm able to get about a bit it's quite likely that we'll have quite a few people in here um, related to us it's quite likely so what I'm doing I'm just gonna go up and across and down there's a John Buck over there they would all been neighbors of our ancestors the Brooks a lot of these in this old patch but like you say some some are quite hard to read John Bulls there So that's really good to be able to see Elon's relative there. Okay, right over there through the flowers. The wild grasses. Like I said, I'm doing this now because people might come out. HK, I wonder what HK stands for. Herbert King. Well, we'll take a note of it, Herbert King. Once again, anyone I do in here will be neighbours of the Brooks and the Muskers. And she looks like someone with a face and ears, doesn't it? If you look at the, it looks like some ears. In loving memory of Herbert King, who departed this life November the 6th, 1904, aged 21. Judge not me and not something judged. Yeah. That's a, a buck, a bloke called Buck there. That was good to come straight across. It was almost as if I was drawn to John Musk, wasn't it? I'm making a note of all of them because they'll all be neighbours. Henry Cornwell, who died January the 6th, 1901, aged 43. Gone but not forgotten. Also Betsy, his wife, who died February the 11th, 1922, aged 72. Peace, perfect peace. I said they would all know each other and they could even married into the families. That's another reason for me to do. And some gravestones are footstones are often propped up against the walls. Okay? Or smashed up and removed. It could have been that it was John Musk we found. Um, just make sure you've got the key shell. Keep it deep. You wouldn't want to lose it in here. Sorry, I'm so, I've already lost my tablets. My printer pro. <laughs> so I've got one more left for tomorrow. I've taken today's. I was trying to keep them so safe and I can't find them. I've hidden them so well in the car. Right, here we got, in loving memory of a dear brother and cousin, Frank Madison Benstead, who died at Hammersmith, July the 17th, 1895, aged 30. Until the day breaks and the shadows flee away. And I'm, just, I'm constantly taking different images of the musgrave from different angles. Because that is most likely um, my a, a person who married my great great aunt. It could be just John Musk. There was a Robert. One lot went up. Um, one lot went to um, up north. Then we've got a hassle here. I'll just take a picture. They died in 1893, but it's not. Hazel, this one's Hassel. <clears throat> and they've got a George Pond, son of Charles and Elizabeth Pond, who died 1894, aged 21. You've got a James Collins, who died January the 9th, 1909, aged 68. 
sown in the weakness, raised in the power. Mary Ann Whiting over there, she died in 1897, age 65. In big letters you've got Elizabeth Jarvis, the beloved wife of William Jarvis, who died August the 5th, 18, it could be 1899, age 54. Hannah, beloved wife of Harry Brett, who died April the 30th, 1903, age 51. And Blanche, their only daughter, who died May the 13th, 1899, Age just 18. Henrietta Dennis, she died in 80, could be 1907. I'm not quite sure of that one. At the back there, Sidney Charles, the beloved son of George and Alice Bullen, who died in 1900, age 17. And Philip Arthur, their son died 1900, age 10. Very young. Very young. That was a flipping horsefly girl. Nasty one. It was big. Like a bloody vampire, that one. I don't think he struck, don't you? No, I hope not. Did we do this one? Did we get down here? Oh, that's a bull family again. Yeah, bull. That was really big insect. I've never seen such a big horse fly. I wonder what the hell it was, actually. <laughs> Excuse my expression. Right, so I'm just doing a bit of rows at a time. It's dodgy. I'll be going over that side in a minute. Just have a quick look as we go. Just in case. And we'll just take some more pictures. I'll probably have to do a lot of editing to these. I can imagine that um, they'll be very dark. The weather's not very good. In memory of Anne Fenn, who died October the 7th, 1888, in her 71st year, her end was peace. Also in loving memory of William Fenn, born 1820, died at 1919. Also in loving memory of Frederick Fenn, who died of wounds in France, July the 7th, 1918, aged 28. I might take a picture of that one. Um, right, well, okay, we, we went over there a minute ago, didn't we? I got this massive horsefly a minute ago. William Henry w Wincop. William Henry Wincop. Right, we better go across here. Let's just be wary of those horseflies. Harry White, 1889, age 42. Oh, there's a Wesley here. Oh, yeah, she sounds... Look, Francis Wesley of Church Street, Exon, who died January the 22nd, 1888, age 62. Sounds a familiar name, doesn't it? Sounds a familiar name. Yeah, that's right. We're about where we thought we'd be. I hope we find some more musks. So I said, I'm doing the older ones first, in case somebody moans about me doing it. But uh, you take risks when you're a tree person. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, you do. You take a lot of risks. Oh, 
George Bunn. Looks like 1888, age 63. So the first one I came across was John Musk. Isn't that amazing? We haven't found one since. I've got a feeling we only found one that time, but I thought it was Henry we found. And I do know that Henry Musk is buried in there. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, I do know. They're all buried in a different direction now. This might be the unconsecrated ground here, might not it? Hammond, he Herbert, and loving son of Herbert and Sarah Hammond. Oh, we found a mask. We found a mask. Similar pattern, look. Here we are, we've got Mark Musk, who died March the 23rd, 1894. Oh, Maria, no, sorry, Maria Musk, in her 22nd year. Father, nevertheless, something thou wilt. That is Maria, not Mark, Maria Musk. That's an important one, everybody. Another musk. So we've had John. Now we've got a Maria. Same pattern. Notice? In loving remembrance. Same pattern. I'll just go around the back. So she died in 1891. Maria Musk. She's um, of my beloved sister, it says here. Maria Musk. It doesn't say who else, though. Of my beloved sister. She was only, you know, she was only 22 when she died in 1894. So she was young when she died. These, are, these big ones here are sometimes really hard to read. These big ones here. But that's a signature tune, isn't it? If we got that sort of style. We've got that sort of style grave with that shape. Same as John up the top. Right, I'm just going to turn off the video a minute in case we lose everything and start again.